Riding on the city of New Orleans Illinois Central, Monday morning rail Fifteen cars and fifteen restless riders Three conductors, twenty-five sacks of mail All along the southbound Odyssey The train pulls out at Kankakee And rolls along past houses, farms, and fields Hey guys, welcome back to another Jackson Pacific Productions. You know what this view means? It means that we're doing another layout update. First video of 2018. Um, been doing a lot of work on the layout. And just thought I'd give you guys an update. So, first off, if you can't see, we have a fourth DPM building with a larger parking lot. And that is the turret building, which is the uh, light blue and orangish, look, orangish looking building on your left, next to the red one. Now, I haven't weathered it yet. I got it all together, and I still have not found um, some... Um, construction paper, by construction paper yet, but I tell you what I have done, or have been doing, so, I'm just going to show you guys the, uh, a paintbrush, um, so we know I love a little 40, 440, um, She's not glued down to the track, but the track has been glued down. And we got a tree here, tree there, bushes here, all along here, here, and here. Um, obviously, um, I've been adding a few things. Let me remove. So, I have not glued down these buildings. But, as you can see, I've had some vehicles. Um, this one is a Woodland Scenics. Uh, it's called Family Vacation. Um, this other one, right here, uh, that wasn't supposed to happen, at the grade crossing, is called Billy's uh, Coop. And there's a little cab figure in there. We got our 40, 1940s Roadster here at the um, auto parts store. Your 59 El Camino and your 52 Bel Air two door. I purchased some bikers, picked them up, and set them in the parking lot of the saloon. So there's that. Here's a look at the uh, turret building. And I didn't put a floor there, but. Like it really needs a floor. Um, like I said, added some uh, bushes. Um, I think one of the biggest things that you're gonna see here, if I zoom in, if it will show, is our river has water in it. The way I achieved that is through um, hot glue, a heavy hot, a heavy duty hot glue gun, and just spreading out the hot glue. And uh, over here on this corner, I added a tree, and I created a nice little lake or a river, whatever you want to call that. Sorry if I'm going a little too fast. And I added more rocks and. Uh, some bushes in between. There's number 844. Um, now, I am running my trains on DC. I hooked up my DC power pack because I was getting tired of the humming 
that um, DCC gives you in DC locomotives. Neither here nor there. I had four trees atop the uh, mountain. Four new trees. Uh, not too big of a deal. But as you're going to see come through that tunnel are two new locomotives that I've added to my roster. Um, what were they? They are um, Kato. They're both Kato mo models. Uh, the lead unit is going to be an AC 44000 CW and the unit after that is an SD70M. Both Union Pacific paint. Uh, now, guys might be asking me, hey, I thought you were trying to get rid of all your modern motor, motive power. Yes, I was. And then I took a trip down to the hobby store to pick up a few detailing items, including the I stumbled upon these monstrosities in the jewel case. Are not jewel cases, uh, in the case that they display their locomotives over at Ace. And I, I think that's better. Yeah, it's semi better. But um, I noticed these and I knew I had to have them. Um, so those two are new, nothing new as far as rolling stock. I did get a nice little three drawer container. That I can store my rolling stock, engines, and then detailing and um, weathering and scenery stuff in. Now, it's a lot to take in. Um, Tuesday, tonight is Saturday night. Tuesday evening, or Tuesday afternoon slash evening, um, UPS should be dropping off a package from uh, modeltrainstuff.com. And uh, in that package, I'll tell you guys, um, is the Union Pacific Excursion Set. The Southern Pacific Daylight 10 car set. And then I also got SD70 ACE number 8444. Originally I had ordered those before I picked up these locomotives at ACE. And, uh, well, let's just say, um, You walk into a hobby store to get one thing, you come out with several. I was going to pick up the turret building and uh, one or two more cars besides the two cars and the bikers I picked up. But if I, if I did that, I would have said no to getting this locomotive, and then the next day, I couldn't stop thinking about it, turned around and picked up this locomotive. I don't know if you can tell, but just very lightly and very carefully, I picked, uh, took the body off of this one and this one, and I took the, uh, a black acrylic paint wash which is just basically acrylic paint with uh, water mixed in. And lightly and carefully filled in each of the radiator fans or uh, grills to add some depth. And you can't see it all that much, but the exhaust on the uh, AC44000. Um, I took some burnt umber and very carefully and painstakingly touched the paintbrush to the exhaust, giving it that rusted look. 
And that's basically about it as I zoom out. That is about it for our layout update. The first video of 2018. There's the trees. Kind of large. Um, some trees over there. I know, pretty shaky. I did get the right color um, pigment for pavement. So it looks more realistic. Other than that, guys, that's about it. I hope to pick up some... Uh, some fencing to put around our lovely little park, a couple park benches, and, uh, yeah, that's it for this layout update, and, uh, hopefully, I will catch you guys on the, on the flip side, so, talk to you guys later, peace. Listen up, my friends, won't you lend an ear? Take about the biggest steam engine in the world.